Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. New release here today. It is a warning track. It is a track I know. I reacted to the official lyric video as soon as it came out. I think it was as soon as it came out, but I did it. <laughs> and then the Teatro Metropolitan, which was a great show. If you haven't seen it, I'm saying this quickly because if you guys have been watching my recent reactions here at the Pepsi Center, I've been jumping on all of them because it's just such a great performance. Last one was Black Holes, and it was so, so, so good good i did read some of your comments i try to always do so but i did read some and you guys clued me in on some things like the girls weren't feeling so well health-wise right they were under the weather and so it brought me back actually one of the worst times i've ever been six was in mexico i got montezuma's revenge in mexico city with a band called the cranberries and it is really hard to work because you can't call in sick in the case here of the performer, there's thousands of people at this show that you can't just say, I don't feel so good. You gotta like make it through. It's tough, it sucks. But they pulled through it this evening. And it's nice to know that all of the fans here were well aware that they were doing it and not feeling on top of their game. They were playing like they were though, which is really commendable. Anyway, long spiel <laughs> before we jump into this track. I know a lot of you were excited to be watching it, and that got me a bit excited too. So, let's give us a go. Bueno, esa siguiente canción, yo he dicho que nunca le va a tocar en vivo, porque es una canción muy personal. Pero viéndolos todos aquí reunidos, es increíble pensar que hay ocho mil personas ahorita aquí que nos vinieron a nosotras. Y um, honestamente, estoy medio enferma, mi voz no está súper bien, pero les quiero cantar esta canción. Sorry, oh, but what does this mean? It doesn't mean I'm a badger. She said she's under the weather. She's a little sick in Phantom Mind. So you can hear it actually in her nasal here. So yeah, it's a little tough. But she said she's lucky to be there. So yeah, right? Cool. The water's getting wet. No, I need to cantar, I thought it learned to keep me warm. But it's reaching down my throat And it's freezing all my bones Still I try to reach over the endless waves Can't call for help so I'll just call my name But not even I can hear I'll just disappear without a trace Is it so wrong, wrong to want to be alright? Perfect in pain, it's the same all the time Try my very best to stay afloat But there's something down there that just wants me close And I beg myself to breathe But there's nothing within reach now
wasn't that more interesting than watching Perry Farrell punch Dave Navarro. <laughs> and what a different thing here. So emotional, so personal, so caring, so thoughtful. So very like for everybody, not just for her. What unselfish is the word, right? Sorry, not to pick on Perry Farrell, but it's just interesting the stuff we hear in the media and the news that they throw in our face that we see so much, and yet we don't see as often as we should stuff like this, a really, truly like powerful performance. Not by her, by everybody. They all felt it, man. They felt it in their souls. That audience, that's a sea of people. That's a mass. All just going, wow. And yet at the same time, they're like, we got you. <laughs> we got you. Because she's breaking down at the end to the point where she completely, totally walks off, you know. Really, really beautiful, beautiful moment. And I think for her to, you know, for her and as fans, as you see somebody you respect, you admire, you love their music, you love them, it's nice to have that personal experience and be invited to it. And yet you feel for them. How could you not feel for her in this performance, you know? It's very difficult for her to do. She says she's not feeling well. My Spanish isn't that great, but I think that's what she said in the beginning. She's not feeling good. We're just going to make the most of it. And then when everybody jumps in, she's like, oh, I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. Wonderful stuff. It really shows you what a truly great person she is and what a great young spirit I kept said in every one of these videos from the Pepsi Center, but what a performance, what a show. I mean, it's the same thing. It was really, really good. I think this was a surprise, right? To the audience, you guys didn't anticipate her performing, and I think you had said after Black Hole, Holes, uh, you guys expected them to push the piano away, I think I read, and it sat there, so like, ooh, is she going to play Breathe? And she did, and so uh, there you go. Really, really something special, this. Uh, I loved her voice just like shaking throughout, you know, it gave it such personality, the song. So, uh, and it's such a simple song and simple lyrics that have deep meaning. That's not easy to do. It's not easy to write. So it's impressive. I'm, I'm blown away. I hope all of you think that's as special as I just did because I'm very pleased I had the five minutes here to watch that. I was given that opportunity because you guys decided to record it. You got to think that too. Sorry, last thing, last thing, and I'll shut up. But, you know, you, you know you're not feeling well. This is a big night. This is not just a show. Not that any of the shows are insignificant. But this is a big show. There's a lot of people there. It's in your home country. And they're recording it. I mean, there's so much. And you don't feel good. I mean, what a bummer. What a bummer. So thank you all three of them for pulling through and doing a fantastic job on this. So uh, hats off. Noted. Awesome stuff. Can't wait to the next release. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next one. The Warning at the Pepsi Center. I do know this track. I do like this track. I do know the warning. I do like the warning. <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know all of this stuff. But I like to be up front with everybody because if you don't, uh, at least you know where I'm coming from, where it's not uh, something totally out of left field. So I try to be very honest and sincere on here. Let's jump into this track. I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm going to like it. But let's find out together. I've never seen it. Full of color on the outside But I only see them black and white I'm desperate for some light In the corners of my mind Having hope but not That means I love it already <laughs> Those cats out of the bag <laughs> Enough Reaching out to find no one Am I the only soul To have lost all control It gets hard to breathe Stuck in between Every 
only time I'll stop. I promise I won't stop it again because this is just magic. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Between this and Breathe. Whoa! <laughs> right? Right, fans? Whoa! Now I'm about to tear off this page But something I can erase I wish I could rewrite The story of my life While I hide every day Behind the master's pain They say I'm not alone But do they even know it? Gets hard to breathe Stuck in between all what Has become my fake reality And there's no from the voice in my head It's driving me crazy Nobody understands My sanity's not going to last And I'll slide on through the night Everyone will think I'm alright But nobody knows What I'm tracking to hear her here that mix at least on my monitors here but the mix here on the uh is, is a little tough that guitar is really loud and so i can't hear what she's saying so i speak a little pigeon spanish oh and i just realized i told you i wasn't gonna stop the song again and i totally did sorry about that <laughs> conmigo concert so much I really am and that was a, so great I think when I do you know I like doing these verses videos and the verses videos aren't really true verses what it is versus this is like fighting back you know, which one's best it's more just putting some really great stuff together 
And this one I'm thinking, I'm gonna put Breathe together with this and I'm just gonna put in the title. Why? Because. <laughs> so thus far, th these two performances, Breathe and this, have been my favorite performances from the show. They're just at a different level of magical. They're so, they're such personal experiences. They, they really attach me to loving this show and really being proud to be a warning fan. So I think they did so, so good here. And I'm still eager. I keep saying, I wonder how many more there are. I wonder how many more there are. I, I could have looked. I'm sure I could have figured it out. But it's more fun just to roll with the punches. And so I don't think this is the last song of the night. So there'll be some more. But this was very, very special. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And it just shows you how much talent is in this family. So um, <laughs> I can't speak highly enough of it. I encourage you guys to say what you think in the comments. I really hope you loved this track because it's worth loving. It's a really wonderful moment. Beautiful thing. Thanks so much, guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. <laughs>